So here we're going to be talking about this thing. It's a barometer and it was invented during the scientific revolution, a time when incredible discoveries were made in the world of science. And first of all, to understand barometers, we need to understand air pressure, which is basically the weight of the atmosphere around us exerting on a certain area, such as the earth, the ocean floor, or anything around us, even our own selves. You may have seen this term used a lot in meteorology, if you've ever heard of high and low pressure systems. There are also a lot of everyday examples of air pressure in action, such as drinking something through a straw. And now most of you may know what a barometer is, but let's put it in simpler terms. A barometer is an instrument used to measure air pressure. The four kinds of barometers are mercurial, aneroid, hypsometric, also known as a hypsometer, and piezoresistant. And barometers are used to measure the pressure exerted by atmospheric weight in units of area such as inches squared. The picture at right is an example of a modern barometer we can see today. So who was the one to invent the first barometer? This was a man named Evangelista Torricelli, and he was born on October 15, 1608, and died on October 25, 1647. He was an Italian physician and mathematician, and he's known for creating a sustained vacuum, which can be seen in his invention of the barometer. Torricelli was also a professor of philosophy and mathematics. He helped improve the telescope, and he was the secretary of Galileo Galilei. Galileo, you're already the tenth most important person in a thousand years. Give your secretary a chance. Thank you. Anyways, there was some history with studying air pressure before Torricelli's invention of the barometer. Before Torricelli, Otto von Goerich studied air pressure, and in a public demonstration in 1657, he became the first to use an air pump. It was also the invention of a vacuum, ending the debate of whether this could exist in our world. Wait, 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 not that vacuum. There we go. Later in 1643, Torricelli made his breakthrough in the st study of air pressure. He was previously studying vacuums using Goerich's discoveries, and Galileo suggested that he should use mercury in his experiments. He filled a narrow tube with mercury and turned it upside down into a dish. Then Torricelli noticed something. Not all of the mercury had left the tube. From his previous experiments, he knew that the empty space was a vacuum and concluded that the amount of mercury in the tube depended on atmospheric pressure. He invented a barometer, or what would soon be called a barometer. This new device would measure air pressure just about anywhere, and it gave accurate predictions of when it would rain. It became known as Torricelli's tube, and his invention became rather popular, especially for well-known mathematician Blaise Pascal. Around 1648, he had his brother use a barometer like Torricelli's to measure air pressure at the different heights of a mountain. Using these measurements, he concluded the generalization that as altitude increases, air pressure decreases. And of course, that leads to a ton of equations and stuff about air pressure, but let's just continue. The word barometer didn't become a term until the 1660s. Robert Boyle duplicated Torricelli's experiment and coined the word barometer for his invention, deriving it from baros, Greek for weight, and of course, meter, pertaining to measurement. And that's the story of the first barometer in history, which created a spark and a starting point for more advanced studies of atmospheric pressure and meteorology, such as the aneroid barometer, which is a di more digital and modern barometer, the concept of isobars, high and low pressure systems, and more. But these all happened long after the scientific revolution, so they're not part of this time period. However, none of these future scientific advancements in meteorology would be possible without Torricelli's first invention of the barometer. using Powtoon.